Hey there folks, Mark Johnson. Got something exciting today. Honestly, I haven't talked about gadgets in quite a while, but I'm compelled about this one because this is a 100 watt GAN charger and hub. What? Let's look at these ports. So you have a 100 watt power delivery, 100 watt power delivery hub, 30 watt hub, USB-A, and you have HDMI 2.0. The kicker of this thing is when you flip it on on the back, on the bottom of it, you have SD card, micro SD, Ethernet, and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This thing is stacked. I tested it out on the 2021 iPad Pro. Everything works on it just great. And honestly, if I'm traveling, this is going to be you know pretty much the one charging device I take with me. Now I usually always will carry you know at least two or even maybe even a smaller charger, but since this thing is so huge, you know you can run into that issue of trying to find an outlet somewhere that it won't fall out of. But on this Indiegogo project, believe it or not, extension cord and check this out, it fits just like that old school MacBook Pro extension cable. So you can sit this in. Ultimately, it extends it way more useful, especially when you're talking about an Ethernet port or an SD card slot, because that stuff hanging from the bottom, honestly, if you have it on a wall, it's just not going to be likely the you know cable probably just pull the hole you know out of, the, out of the wall. So, hopefully, you see the value in it. I'm going to add you the link to the description of the video below. Also, in this next part of the video, I'm going to give you some real demos of using it on the iPad Pro. So, let's jump into it. All right, folks, so we're going to do some real testing with this new ADG charger. So check this out. I've got it plugged in, and we've got SD card. We've got Ethernet, which you see is flashing. We also have Thunderbolt 3 uh, hub connection into the iPad, uh, USB-A transmitter for the mouse, and then we have the HDMI. So first thing, HDMI is working great. Uh, showing up. Of course, it doesn't fill the whole screen. It's, it's a 32 inch monitor. And then it does a mirror and the mouse, just using the Razer mouse here, it's working just fine. You see the scroll, I can go on and click on stuff, you know, news, whatever it may be. So all that's working fine as well. Let's look at the ethernet. So that should be a cool thing to look at here. From a network perspective, so there you go, you see Ethernet showing up. There's the LAN devices, you can see the private IP addresses in there, which is great. So overall, I think it's doing everything as advertised. Oh, let's do one more thing. Let's look at the SD card. So we're gonna go into the SD card screen here, and we're going to pick, Sony does theirs a little weird puts in these weird things. So, and yeah, there's all the clips. Uh, give y'all a sneak peek of something that's coming soon. We'll just click on that. And so all that's working. Hey, folks, Mark Johnson, really excited and what's cool about this is it actually was routing the audio back to the monitor, which is nice as well. So that audio transfer was doing well. Last thing, I gotta try out the headphone jack. So let's try that out. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these AirPods Max, we got them plugged in, and let's try the sound out, see how this holds up. All right, now I can confirm the audio does work very well, simple, coming right from the device itself. Um, as you can see, it's plugged in. So overall, ADG, they, they knocked it out of the park. Now we'll keep an eye on this and see how it improves or how long it lasts. If anything breaks, I'll be sure to let you know, but. Overall, I've tried out every port. I haven't tried out the uh, micro SD slot, but I'll try that out in the future at some point. But thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care.